New numbers show Indianapolis is on pace to set a new record for deadly overdoses. Not only is it costing hundreds of lives, it's also putting a strain on those who respond and investigate those deaths. It is difficult for our providers, but uh, they, they will act without even thinking twice about it and do what needs to be done to save a life. Box 59, Zach Myers has been digging into the numbers for days now. So, Zach, this is really having an impact on frontline workers who've also been so stressed already with this pandemic. That's right, and those responders see this partially as a lingering effect of the ongoing COVID pandemic, and they are struggling to keep up. Unprecedented, frustrating, Exhausting. That's how Mallory Malcheski describes the current situation in the Marion County Coroner's Office. To work shift after shift, um, where anything from restroom breaks to being able to eat is kind of whenever you have time. In addition to the record-setting homicide rate, the coroner's office is struggling to keep up with a record number of deadly drug overdoses. Mid-year totals show the first half of 2019 saw 228 overdose deaths. Last year it went up to 362, and this year it's up to 391 for a 9 percent increase. And that's not counting the more than 50 suspected overdoses still pending toxic psychology testing this year. And if those come back as positive and are ruled as accidental overdoses, we'll actually be 23% over. Very busy. You know, we are running uh, unlike we've never run before. Indianapolis EMS Chief Dan O'Donnell says the surging overdoses are also putting a strain on emergency medics. He says the COVID pandemic erased gains in the fight against the opioid epidemic because it sent many into despair and made it difficult to get addiction treatment. And while they may have come up as we, you know, got a little bit better with the pandemic, it's still not come back to pre-pandemic levels. And I think that's unfortunately why we're seeing what we're seeing today. Normally, Malcheski says the coroner's office tries to complete a full death investigation within 90 days. Right now, some families are waiting nearly twice as long. And it's very difficult to have those conversations and to have repeated phone calls of saying, I'm, I'm sorry, we don't have the results back yet. I think it's going to get much worse before it gets better, before we have any kind of relief. And the coroner's office told me that even now some cases are being put on hold as investigators sometimes receive three or four new cases in a single shift. So this is obviously an evolving discussion, but Zach, we keep hearing about fentanyl and that it's becoming more and more common in contributing to these deaths. So what did they say about that drug? Well, that's still happening. Five years ago, the coroner's office says fentanyl was involved in about 20% of deadly overdoses. Last year, it was found in 80% of overdose deaths in Marion County, and that shows no sign of slowing down. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, there are resources available, and I've posted links to those in this story on our website. Beershell. All right.